Shredder, you son of a bee. I'm in. Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram, as well as co-host of DC Figures and Collectibles, which is on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and also on YouTube, and basically anywhere else you can hear podcasts. So today we are looking at the last of the Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the animated film Action Figures. Especially the ones that are, they are all GameStop exclusives. And we have come to the end of the line with Ra's al Ghul and Master Shredder, the villains of the pick. Well, the main two villains, there's more than just these two, spoiler alert. But first we're going to take a look at uh, Ra's al Ghul. Or however you say it, Raish, Raz, I don't really care. I got the figure, I'm happy. Here's his face. And this is what he looks like. They did a good job. I really like the amount of uh, sculpt work that looks like it went into this. They make him look very comic accurate. Very cool profile. Look at that's awesome. So, he also comes up with a sword, which I think is very nicely done. All the gold on him is very nicely done and has a metallic, a metallic sheen to it. But besides the sword, what else does Mr. Raish come with? He only comes with another set of hands. <laughs> and one's like this, like he's doing some kind of jujitsu or karate move. Or maybe some kind of spell. I don't even know he's not very magical. And here's a more open hand for grabbing an item. So he only comes with the hands and the sword. He comes with two pairs of hands and a sword. But the thing I do like is the cape. They actually went fabric on it. It's nicely done, just like the material from the Comic Con Mikey as Batman and Batman's cape himself. And uh, in terms of articulation, let's see. He only turns his head side to side because of his little cape top whatever it is is Doctor Strange look alike even though even, who knows which one was made first um he has thigh cut he has double knee even though it's stiff okay good it didn't break yet he has boot cut he has hinge and his ankles pivot single jointed elbow hinge and wrist Hinge and wrist. Hinged and it just moves anywhere wrist. <laughs> Shoulders go that high and they rotate. And um, let's look at the back of them. I like that they have his gauntlets. It's very Batman Begins. Since he is the one in that that, sh that showed Bruce how to use the gauntlets. Just in case you've never seen the movie. And then next, the, f the character I don't know too much about. But the guy that comes with the most amount of accessories. So I'm very stoked about that. He comes with two pairs of these long hands. Or these long uh, Wolverine-esque claws. And he comes with a pair of fists with small claws. Which he has his other one on right now. And he comes with a pair that's open for holding things that are also small. He also comes with... Ninja Star and a TCRI container and his cape too is cloth not as big or f as flowing but it is nicely done and it does come out for a decent amount he has double knee articulation he has thigh cut he has hinge and ankle pivot his legs don't come out too far because of his tunic. His arms go up a decent amount. They rotate. Can his head move all the way around? His head rotates all the way around and does have some side to side movement, but not too much because they wouldn't want to do that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. His hand fell off. So that proves that his hands are easy to interchange. But I think overall the the one that I that I like of course out of these two is gonna be Reza Ghoul. I really like the gold paint. The one question I have though is look at this, okay? Look at how his cape 
Now, you'd think that the way these would connect, it would have this showing, this, but it connects to where it's not showing. I don't know. What well, if you guys get it, you'll know, but and if you guys see better pictures, you'll hopefully get what I'm trying to say. But overall, I would I say uh, if you've already gotten a few figures from this line, or even if you got like the Batman and one turtle, and you just want a villain, here's you can get a two pack, two for one. Also, a great Christmas gift. If you want to see more pictures, head on over to my Instagram at Batman Figs F I G S. And I should have a few up there for you. I'll also leave a link in the description below so you can just click, uh, go on over to my Instagram. And I will also put a link to DC Figures and Collectibles. Talk to you later.